We can allow for same-day registration. Um, that that's, gives a person, people tend to get more excited the closer it gets to an election. So if we have same-day registration, they can just show up and vote. Um, another thing um, Nevada, our neighboring state, does is they allow early voting at the shopping malls. So it's really convenient. Uh, personally, I wait until the last day to vote because I want to make sure I get all the information on all the candidates. Uh, but those two things are really easy. And also, uh, I think we have to change the perception uh, for voters so that they uh, feel like it's, it's a fair process. I think to improve uh, voter participation, beginning with the registration, but also looking at turnout, uh, you, you need to be proactive and recognizing that different people will prefer uh, to communicate and maybe even to vote in different ways. Uh, as far as elections information, some people still look at the mailbox for information. Other people want to go online when it comes to voting. Uh, a lot of areas in the state, are, you're seeing a steady increase of voting by mail. In other places, like my own mother, she insists on going to the polls on election day. Uh, so I think it's incumbent upon the state and county by county to be as accommodating to as many different types of voters, preferences of voters, to participate and not to replace one opportunity with another. Well, the first thing I would do is to build out a set of relationships to build these public-private partnerships with, for the most part, retail partners at all different levels of the income ladder uh, to engage and appreciate voters when they uh, go and vote on election day. So the second thing is we need to finish our Cal Voter database. Uh, the statewide database is something that's so important to complete, not just for the integrity of our voter roll, but also to make sure that we know who's coming coming into California and who's leaving and what other states are doing in using their statewide database is actually to send out direct mailers to those new voters to make sure they're engaged when they move into California. So I think really making sure that the statewide database is complete is a great avenue and tool for engaging new voters in California. Number one, we need to increase the civics education in our schools. Instead of one single semester that California high school students get, they should be getting years of civics education. So by the time they turn 18, they understand how important it is to vote. And finally, perhaps most importantly, we need to dramatically expand and broaden the platform for civic and community engagement organizations. Organizations like HOPE, Hispanics Organized for Political Equality, organizations like California Women Lead, organizations like CORO and Model United Nations and Junior States and Youth in Government. By belonging to a group like this, it can't help but to create greater civic involvement and greater voting participation. On online voter registration, we were able to get 800,000, not, not 800, not uh, 8,000, 800,000 new registrant, never registered before. And that was only in the span of two months before the election. Can you imagine uh, looking at one whole year, two whole years uh, before the um, uh, federal election or whatever that election may be, and getting even more individuals to register online, helping uh, and finding ways to make it easier for people to uh, not only register to vote, but then have, uh, uh, but cast their vote is something extremely important. When I was at Common Cause, uh, we worked on passing same-day voter registration, and, and research shows that that's one of the single best things that we can do to improve turnout, especially among young people. So uh, as Secretary, I'm committed to making sure that we get that implemented and then expanded so that it's in use uh, all, all across every county, not just in limited locations. Thank you.